Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, Tech with Stan. Uh, it's really been a while uh, since we uh, connected, uh, since I shared a video. And yeah, uh, actually got busy with uh, stuffs. Uh, but here I am again. Um, so would uh, I'll jump right to the chase. Uh, so uh, before now, there's been this buzz around uh, Stream Classic retiring and uh, moving over to uh, stream on SharePoint. Uh, Microsoft is trying to consolidate, uh, you know, every uh, enterprise uh, applications that have been used into one uh, uh, platform where you could share, you know, interact with uh, this content uh, than moving uh, out of the uh, Microsoft 365 ecosystem. So uh, Stream Classic, it's been uh, moved over to uh, uh, SharePoint and OneDrive, just so that you can interact with video files the way you do with Word, uh, PowerPoint, Excel, and the likes, right? And um, so uh, I've actually gone online to check for actual step by step on the processes involved, right? And I didn't find one, so I thought it wise to you know uh, share uh, this video. Uh, it might help someone out there uh, to get uh, started with the migration, just so you could beat the deadlines uh, that have been put in place. Right, so I'll drop I'll drop relevant links uh, along the way on what you need to know in terms of the timelines, so you could just uh, go through that. So first off, um, migration from Stream Classic to uh, Stream on SharePoint. Uh, the uh, the first thing you need to know is uh, your videos move over with the same permissions they have on Stream Classic, right? And uh, to do that. Uh, the recommended process is to first off uh, run uh, a an inventory report just so that you can have an an insight into how many videos you have the containers that there are you know how to go about moving them and the uh, preferred destinations right so uh, this uh, inventory report would help you a lot in uh, getting this done so we have an inventory report uh so you run the inventory report get an inventory report then microsoft provides you a power bi uh visualization to where you could just upload your reports and uh voila you have uh, a fully functional reporting uh visual system where you could you know click and click and click and you will have an insight and then uh it would help uh, management uh, decisions uh while we go along so uh to run the uh inventory report you need uh three pieces of information first uh you need your tenant id right and uh, second you need uh a token and uh, the third you need uh, the powershell uh, script uh, which is being provided by uh, microsoft so first things first you need to uh download the script right so once uh the script is downloaded right you get your uh, tenant ID and how you can get the tenant ID is uh, down here, click on show all, uh, exchange, uh, what is it, identity, so the first page you meet would be your uh, where you could copy the tenant ID here, right? So you have this. So let's copy this because I will need this. Uh, okay, so I've copied my tenant ID. So the piece of code you need uh, to perform this uh, identified on this particular screen, this here. So this is uh, the one I would use uh, for the sake of this tutorial. So I've copied this into a PowerShell uh, uh, script so I would replace this with the copied uh, ID right so I've already created uh, so I would use this default ones and just put in Stanley as the location and yes the output location so you need an input file which is the token how can you get the token so to get your token uh, you need to come to the admin uh, portal for stream while on the stream uh, classic home page here open your developer tool developer tool right uh, come down to the network uh, section and just do a refresh of this page right it populates uh, a whole lot of entries 
So what we're looking for is the refresh. Refresh, okay, I think I made a mistake in that. Refresh option, so that you see a refresh token, right? So on that refresh token, you move down to where the request header, right, which is this. Yeah, also on the request, uh, request header, yes. So you go down to authorization. So after the BRR, after this BRR, copy from here, down to here. So I copy this and open my notepad. One sec. Open my notepad. So this is the earlier token I have. So token refreshes every one hour, I think. Uh, so you paste this new one and hit on control save. Right, so once that is saved, uh, so now I have every piece of information needed. I have my, I've downloaded the classic report generator, uh, which is the PowerShell by Microsoft. I've added the tenant ID, I've updated the token file, and I've set uh, a output uh, directory. So what you need to do here for this code to run on this particular ISC is to change your directory to the C drive because that's where I stored the... Uh, the PowerShell file. So change directory to C file and then select this uh, line of code and run. One sec. Uh, so uh, this code was for the earlier version 1.11. So we're now I downloaded the 1.12. So let's uh, run this. So we run this again. So this. Uh, So this generates uh, the CSV file and the CSV file. Uh, so there's no generated CSV file for mine because I don't have any video on my stream classic, right? So, but the CSV files uh, will look just as explained uh, on this uh, documentation. And once you have this, then you can go ahead and upload that to uh, the Power BI uh, report uh, visualization tool that you can download here, right? So all those links will be added to the uh, video section so just do well to check that out and thank you very much so i would also be doing a video on how to uh, do the actual migration itself and also how to add containers uh, in my next uh, upload so thank you very much and do have a wonderful day bye bye